Welcome. It's Documentation Office Hours. This is the 15th of December. Thanks for being with us. Topics, LTS, Contributor Spotlight, Contributor Summit, GSOC 2024, Version Documentation, uh, and let's see, this one needs to go inbound, that, Sponsor Attributions, Docker Compose, and that's probably all we're going to get to if we were to get to this last, no, this last one isn't relevant for here. Oh, and Doc's office hours will be canceled next week. We will get to that one because I just have Mazel to forewarn. Basel talk. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. So, so we won't, this will be our last one until January then, right? right yeah, because that's a good point. Yes. Uh, canceled the next week as well. Canceled until January. Yeah, because I don't want to take the time for it. Good. Yes. Thank you. Okay, good. If you want and, to do something, I'm around and willing to hop on. So shoot me mail. But thank you. Yeah, no, I I doubt it. If I if I do Jenkins things during that two week period, it'll be pure entertainment things, and so mm -hmm. uh, that's a very different different approach. Then, all right, topics. Then, so we just released the long term support release, and special thanks to Chris for completing the being the release lead and completing almost all of the release checklist only two items remain wow this one and this one and it looks really great Fabulous. darren pope and i did a uh a darren pope and mark wait video. did a uh what's new in jenkins we need a catchy title for those they've become a real classic standard <laughs> well it's it's a lot of fun. I it certainly enjoyed Darren, and contributor spotlight Alex Earl's spotlight has been published. So if we look at this from the very top, here we go. We see Alex, and before that, another Alex Alexander. Oh. And Alex is from country where that you at least somewhat recognize that Chandler, ah, yes. Arizona spot. Indeed. Uh, next on the list will be Chris Stern. He'll be published in January. We're going to skip a publication at the end of December because we're taking a break. Yep. And then after Chris, we'll have Uli Hoffner. And uh, I think they've got two or three others in queue after that. Cool. And there was a discussion. Oh, this is a fun one to check with you. Okay, so there's an open discussion right now on what should the navigation be for the site. So I'm going to show you what it currently is. So for example, if I go to subprojects, let's look at Jenkins operator, something rather obscure. In the top left corner, when I click the Jenkins word, it takes me to the top of www.jenkins.io okay right? okay and but now if i go to the top of success so if i go to the plugins page so this is sort of a different contextual framework and now let's say i look for something like git and i go to one of these plugins now if i click the top left it takes me to the top of the plugins subsection oh. so that i can find do, do further navigation so this is not a go home to the to a, a conceptual single page. It's go home to the the portion of the pages where I'm located. Right. So now, what that means when I go to success stories, if I if I go ahead and read a story, let's read something from Jim Klimov. And now, when I click this one, it takes me back to stories. Okay. When I click contributor spotlight, and let's say I look at <laughs> Alexander Brandis. Okay, here's Alex, and now I click the Jenkins at the top left, and it took me back to stories. So uh -huh. that 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 behavior was perplexing to Alyssa, Alyssa Tong, and she said, hey, shouldn't this always go to the root, www.jenkins.io, instead of to the in instead of conceptually to the subsites? Right. Now the reason I still could get to the subsites from the stuff that's over at the right end, right? Correct, but but the complication is that 
if I've navigated into one of these pages and I want to go looking for something else that's only accessible from the root of that subsection, I have to navigate through the right-hand side instead of using the go home where home is a context specific concept. So do you have a, I'm, I'm open to your opinion. We discussed it in Doc's Office Hours Europe earlier, uh, about 12 hours ago. What do you think? Should this go to, should clicking here take me to effectively, let's see, to here, say no, to, to here. Should it take me to this page or should it take me into the subsection? Okay, I think the fact that it says Jenkins means I always want to go to the top when I hit Jenkins. So, so it you're out of here. You associate this link with this word and yeah. thus this page. Now you've got a whole lot of real estate there. Uh huh. What I would kind of like would be to have a secondary. So it's sort of a breadcrumb. I can't. I can't read. I can't get new glasses. What that is in red to the right of Jenkins. This is the Continuous Delivery Foundation's logo. Ah. And, and it certainly could be shifted over. Now, on narrow screens, we, we start to get a little bit of spill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But but it could be shifted over. It could be. And I don't know, for instance, if, if I remember correctly, no other CDF site has this these kinds of links to to the Jenkins project, uh -huh. right? They've got links to, they may have links to CDF like this one does, but they don't provide links to individual projects from a dropdown like we do. Uh -huh. So it would be justifiable to say, hey, we're going to switch to do like these other project, CDF project pages do where we only link to the top level page like that. Ah. Uh -huh. But but that would only narrow the thing a little bit. So it's not yeah. not a great narrowing. Because what I'd like to see, because what one scenario is I know what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Um, always a dangerous thing to risk when you're dealing with. But so I know I'm going into plugins and I drill down and I want to get back to tack of plugins. The other thing is I'm like, what do they have? I'm brand new. I look, what do they got for plugins? Mm -hmm. And I look and I scoot around some and I say, nah, that's not what I want. Let me go back to the top. And, but to me, it's like a truth in advertising. When it says Jenkins, I expect that to take me back to the top. Okay. So you're, 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 you are more towards the way Alyssa perceives it, that this should go all the way to root. Right. Or okay. now what I would say, I wouldn't, conf I think I would like, that's what I would almost like a secondary one. So I have a choice mm -hmm. that says, take me to the top of this section that it would change. So it would, I've dug down in plugins, so over there I see plugins. Or yeah, the, the, you can actually... highlight the one that's over on the right end to show where I am. Ah, okay. Yeah, because because you've we've actually got that. I just have to drop down in so in now I'm in the mobile view, right? This is this mm -hmm. is narrow enough that it's in mobile. And so when it's going in the mobile view, it does highlight my current section. Right. And um, if I oh go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm. Finish what you're saying. I'm sorry. No, no, I, I, I that was it. Oh, okay. What I want to know is what happened. A link. Um, is there some place? Can you go into the documentation and link into the plugins? There's got to be this, right? Sure. So, for instance, we've got, let's look at some examples. Here is the pipeline syntax reference. And in the pipeline syntax reference, I think, oh, no, pipeline steps reference. This will give us an easy link to to a plugin so here we yeah. go here is this and it says view this plugin on the plugin site is that what you were looking for right now what happens if i go to if i click the jenkins button do i go to the top so do from to the here plugin, if, or if do I, I go to back, back, back to so from here screen. if i click the jenkins button button it goes to the top page of ww okay if i click here and then click the Jenkins button. It go, button it goes to the top of the plugin site. Okay, and I was reading documentation, and wasn't thinking, and I left clicked rather than right clicked when I went to that plugin. I want to read the documentation, and I just lost the documentation and my place in it. Okay, now I'm not sure I understand. So you're saying, 
if I open this, if I open this, then click this, it doesn't take me back, but neither of them will take me back when I click the top left. They'll both take me to a, a route uh -huh. to someplace at the top. Uh, yeah. Tell me more. Tell, describe them further what you're what you're Okay, well, I, it's what I think I'm doing. I think I'm reading the documentation about creating pipelines. Right. And you mentioned this plugin, so I click to look at it. Mm -hmm. But what I want to be doing is reading the documentation about creating the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And I have no good way back to that now. Well, and, and, and he, but it's not going to take me back to what I was reading. I see. I think and so. Yes, I think I what you're saying is in the first place, and I would a breadcrumb, a breadcrumb have been helpful here to get me through to get me back. Is that what you're oh, suggesting? Dear. That maybe if this top bar added a breadcrumb that would remember the last few places, that would be helpful. Is that yes? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying is that I mean people start jumping around and I know I get frustrated with that because, and I'll, you know, I'll say, I should have right clicked. I knew that I knew better, <laughs> but cause then I not only, I may not at that point, I don't want to go just back to the top of documentation either. Uh -huh. I want to go back to that paragraph I was reading. I was just getting into this mm, got it. and I was like, what's this? And now I'm lost. And I've got to start all over and try to find where I was and scroll down to where I was in the file. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's, as like in this, in this context, when you talk about it, it makes sense. As a casual user, it looks to me like Russian roulette when I, there's this Jenkins button, click it and see where you land. Whee! Right, right. Whereas I, I think you, you, Russian roulette is, is, would match with, with Alyssa's description she was expecting this would always go to the same location, www.jenkins.io, no matter which uh -huh. place you're in along this navigation bar, whether you're down here in Jenkins Remoting, where it does do what, you, what you've described, or if you're, but you're, if you're in plugins, it takes me back to the root of plugins, or Spotlight takes me to the root of Spotlight. Right. <clears throat> which a may or may not be where I want to be. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a, a thing of plug of um, breadcrumbs across for where I've been would be very nice. So I could go back to wherever I want to be on that. Right. And, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, I just the GSOC project. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that certainly, that would be an interesting one because it would probably have to be embedded in this, the the bar that you see across the top is the is a shared component across all the sites right and so it would have to be embedded in that shared component somehow and handle handle the mobile you know the collapsey expandy behavior etc can that be two lines it could be but then we sacrifice vertical screen real estate and for many people vertical screen real estate is a very oh. precious thing right So, but I'm going to take, I'll take your, your comments, particularly since they're recorded here and I can yeah. share them with others say, Hey, here's a, another viewpoint from somebody who does documentation professionally. And one thing that I, what I, I mean, what I could live with, I don't know what's perfect because different scenarios, different things make sense. Sure. Um, but I would, if it says Jenkins, I expect to go to the top of Jenkins. Right. And the fact and, that I hit, you know. You could make it say, you know, you could make it change so it says plugins or, you know, whatever, if that's where I'm going to go. Or it could say, take me to the top of this session or whatever. But, yeah, it bugs me that it's not, it's not always, it's, you know, on my TiVo, I've got a button that says home. And no matter what I do, that takes me to the same place. Right, right, exactly. So the good analogy the the home analogy for a is a good one and and i'm i think you're inferring that because of the typography that's same here and here mm -hmm. it's okay i expect to go to that place because that's what it looks like even when i'm here okay different typography here again different typography but when i click this it takes me back to a page should take me back to a page that is has that consistent typography. I, I like that. 
Yeah. G- good idea. Because well, there's another thing too that I go in and people, and this bugs me, but it is the world. I need to get over my old farty self. But I go searching for something. Mm-hmm. And so I get that whole search and I click on one of those. Now I'm going to lose my search unless I was smart enough again to right click. But but then I I still I don't know where I am. I'm just I just keep getting lost. Mm-hmm. You know. Right. So. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thanks very much. Yeah, well, I'm always free to mouth off with an opinion. Well, and and that's that's exactly what I wanted here was an opinion. So excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we've covered the the most crucial items. Uh, if are there any others that are really hot here? Oh, actually, yes. There's one more. This one is a good one for for you and you and I to discuss as we're reaching the end of our close our available time. So we had a request from one of our sponsors. Hey, could you please add an attribution to us on your downloads page? Ah. And and the governance board said, yeah, that's a good idea, but really we ought to do something more like this page where. Adoptium shows has a page that is entirely dedicated to sponsors. Aha. Uh-huh. And and it makes I think it makes great sense. Yes, here we go. Um they're saying thanks to these these sponsors, etc. Uh there were some other examples of sponsor pages like yeah, I don't have them at hand, but so what Basel did is Basel has created a a prototype and i think let's take a look at the prototype just to see how it looks okay so if we open up the oops no no i clicked the wrong button rats i clicked the wrong button sorry back to draft it's not ready for review it's not mine (laughs) to change i'm sorry i mistake all right let's look at show environments this one yes i meant the fake slash project slash sponsors so here is the current layout that he's got now he's still got to tune it and he knows that but concepts top level thing anchor this is for the really exceptionally large contributors sponsorship wise and cloudbees is the one the largest single sponsor both in number of people contributing to the project and financial contribution okay yeah and then other sponsors these are all well these these in particular jfrog github cd foundation and aws are each strong sponsors osl red hat less less strong sponsors and so they're the the actual levels here you'll will have to see who goes where some of them like atlassian donate a license to their software right uh-huh. others like DigitalOcean, d- donate tens of thousands of dollars of cloud services mm. So IBM donates access to a System 390 mainframe for us. Okay. Those kind of things. Algolia does our search engine. Wow. Uh, Oracle doesn't donate anything anymore. Yeah. So so uh, naturally, there are some that we've got. To, and Linux Foundation is really part of uh, CDF. So so that's where we've we've got work to do here. But the concept is this. Any... Any ideas, insights, concerns there? Um, yeah, obviously the gra- you know, it's just it's like the logo page. It's just hard to look at. And I don't know what you do with that because everybody wants their logos up there. Well, well, and and Buzzle's noted that one of the cha- one of the things that he will need to address is getting the page design right. Because right. because it certainly is important to these sponsors that their logo is distinct and visible and appropriately placed for so that it's not confused with somebody else you know so we need the right amount of space around it we need all sorts of things like that right would it be would it be gauche if there was a way like to click on them and uh, well we could give a click to their home page too which is what it does would have a, oh okay it does but have a little blurb about what they contribute we so, don't have to say it's value but we thank uh, Atlassian for the for the um you know the license they contribute and we thank ibm for the main right thing, you know yeah you know, good, you, you good don't suggestion. have to say you're you know you're our best friend or you know 
right right um, but but telling telling a bit of the story of what they contribute github's contribution for instance is enormous in the sense that we host 2000 plus repositories on github mm. use it we we host security repositories for secure preparation of of patches and hotfixes before they're publicly visible we we rely on them a bunch jfrog likewise they provide enormous amount of of artifact repository content for us and we use it heavily uh-huh so, I mean, so you, that was a little story would be interesting right right exactly. i don't know if they're short enough it could even be like if you just hover over it pops up as something oh oh now that's an interesting idea a hover text to say yeah see the i assume that they'll want that the logo goes to their site but wondering could we could we add some subtext below it or something like that mm -hmm. that would say here's how the, or jfrog and maybe a, a, a two phrase thing of jfrog the jenkins artifact repository github the jenkins source code repository etc yeah interesting it says something and it's a place you know i don't know i'm thinking of weird things like a bunch of these places i think gave us some money for she codes africa yeah I, I, several of them did yeah, some yeah years you know ago. right exactly and that would be you know as a like it's not a big thing you know the fact that they did it three years ago or something but if you had something like that and you know we thank them for their contribution to the 2024 right right or good, good suggestion yeah should we should the the now the benefit of uh, additional text is it may give some further space between the between the logos so that's that could be a positive yeah and it might be i don't know i'm not a design person i'm not but with these i'm almost wondering if each one sort of got framed and they were arranged kind of around i don't know they're doing cool things with i you know like the newspapers get more and more interesting online but if there was like a little frame box so you've got some text in the frame and in that one and you could you know do different colors for different ones or something right yeah like even that i mean that's very you know, at least they're all lined up and stuff, but it's still just, I kind of glance at it and go, yeah. <laughs> right. You know, what right. are you doing? What What is your involvement here? Mm -hmm. You know, Cause, because some are contributing a lot. Um, some are really invested, like CloudBees is really invested in Jenkins. Mm -hmm. Some of these others, it's a small part of what they do. Correct. Right. Exactly. The In terms of, of, and that's one of the reasons why what Basel has suggested here is let's be sure that we have levels and the governing board agrees on the criteria for assignment of a of a sponsor to a particular level. Uh-huh. And and I think he's right. And I, I propose some alternate names for the levels, but but the concept of levels and assigning them to levels resonated quite well with the governing board as well. They I think they liked it also. But also, we ought to sort of explain what the what the levels are. Well, and 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 that's a that's a topic for discussion by the board, right? Deciding right. What, what criteria should be used. Part of that is Basel's doing research right now to, based on some preliminary numbers he received as a member of the board, he's preparing to slot um, companies or sponsors into these various categories. Uh -huh. And then, then he'll he'll propose something based on some criteria. It'll then be discussed by the board, and finally, a, a decision probably will be settled on. Okay, here are the thresholds for membership in each of these levels. Right. Yeah, because then it's. I mean, then it's going to have to be. Um, what's the relative value of the GitHub space versus? the jfrog space versus the ibm space right exactly and that's and, and that's where it gets there is an, a level of complication there right because cdf is our a legal sponsor and holds the copyrights which is certainly a a valuable but non-cash thing they also right. contribute cash to cover our cloud costs whereas github doesn't do cash in any form but provides major infrastructure right Open the OSU, the o Oregon State University Open Source Lab provides mirrors 
and no cash, but hosting for equipment for us. Oh yeah. And, and so, you know, it's, it's various levels of, of contribution. Red Hat's for instance, right now is contributing through CDF and eventually probably will drop off this list entirely. Okay. So yeah, it cool. And what's pager do? I mean, then I start looking at this, you know. Yeah, pager duty pager duty provides the notifications for the Jenkins infra team. Uh, now it's it's in terms of cash value, it's probably smaller than the than the contribution from a number of these others, but it is still very much a valued contribution. Uh huh. And that's why so yeah, you just be the, like almost what you're saying for these, like a sentence or two. It's right. the perfect thing that I'd like to see either as a sidebar or a pop-up or some some way of describing here's the service that Netlify provides, right? Or here's what discourse provides. And and each of them, yeah, I think I think you've got a good point. It's it's certainly necessary to show the logos, but it would be much better if we could thank them specifically for the thing they're contributing to the Jenkins project. Right. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, Meg, I apologize. I'm sort of out of time. Are you okay if we call a pause for this? I am so, yes. I have such a stack of things to do. I'm actually relieved, but. All right. Well, I, let's go ahead and thank you very much. The recording you will be available. You have a wonderful holiday.